Hey everyone, I'm professional photographer Ian Plant, and for those of us like me who are living in the Northern Hemisphere, fall is right around the corner. In this video, I'm gonna share five of my favorite tips for making stunning autumn images that will make you the envy of all of your photo friends. So if you wanna learn more, then stay tuned. Fall is in the air and everyone loves making autumn images. And I think that most people think that making good fall color shots is pretty easy. I mean, the fall color palette is amazing, but it's actually harder than it seems to make stunning fall photos that stand out from the crowd. And in this video, I'm gonna share five of my favorite fall color photo tips. My first tip might seem pretty obvious and it's this, chase the best fall color that you can. There are plenty of online resources that will give you up-to-date information about the progression of fall color in your favorite photo spots. And you can use these resources to find out where the best color is gonna be at what time and to make sure you're on location ready to make amazing autumn photos. And I'll go ahead and share some links to these amazing resources in the description that accompanies this video. And in a lot of places you might go, there might be differences in elevation. So higher up, fall color might change a little bit earlier, a little bit lower down in elevation, it'll change later. So in those areas, you can actually work peak fall color over an extended period of time. So if you arrive there and it's still green down below, you can head up to a higher elevation and you can find where that zone of peak fall color is. And that way you have a better chance of getting amazing color. And so this timing is critical. You wanna make sure you're showing up in areas where there's good color. And with a little bit of advanced planning, if you use these online resources, you can actually chase fall color for an extended period of time. So for example, here in North America, you might start off chasing the higher elevations of the Canadian and US Rockies in late September. And then the fall color kind of moves down into the lower elevations and also starts heading south in October. So in early October, you've got large areas of the US Midwest, as well as the Northeast that begin to peak in fall color. As you get to mid and late October, that color moves farther south. So you might then have a chance to head down to the Great Smoky Mountains, for example. And then in the end of October, beginning of November, that fall color begins to move even farther south. So you can go down to the Cypress Swamps of Texas and Louisiana, for example. So if you've got some free time and do some advanced planning and you've got some flexibility and mobility, then you can actually catch peak fall color in multiple locations during the season. But remember, even if you don't have peak fall color where you are, you don't always need to have a sea of fall color as far as the eye can see to make great autumn images. Sometimes all you need is a single splash of color to be successful. My second favorite fall color photo tip is to shoot in angled light. So a lot of photographers like shooting in overcast light because that soft light makes it easy to capture those fall colors. And this sort of light might be great if you're doing fall color photography around streams and waterfalls, but for most other fall color photographs, I actually like shooting with backlighting. So you have the light behind the fall color and the fall color just seems to glow from within. It has this beautiful, colorful, magical light. And that's my personal favorite. And so I'm always looking for opportunities to shoot fall color backlit. If I can include the sun within my compositions and I use a wide angle lens and stop down to a small aperture like F11 or F16 to create that sunburst effect, that is even better. You can use that starburst or sunburst effect to make powerful and compelling images where the fall color just seems to glow from within. It can be really beautiful. You can also use side lighting or front lighting for fall foliage shots on a sunny day. Just make sure that you've got some brilliant blue sky behind the fall color, or even better, a shadowed background. That's gonna make the fall color really stand out from the background and just pop in your final photos. Tip number three is to look for color contrast. So during the fall, what you're gonna be doing is chasing those really brilliant yellows and reds and oranges as the leaves turn color during the season. But look for opportunities to juxtapose those beautiful fall colors against other colors that might be opposite of them. So for example, I like to mix in a little bit of green. So if you've got some trees that haven't changed yet or some evergreen trees, 
adding that little splash of green to juxtapose against the warmer colors of fall, that's really nice. And another thing I like to do is to bring in cooler colors like blues, for example. So having a brilliant blue sky behind your fall colors, for example, that's a great way to create a complementary color scheme. Or you can have parts of the scene that are in shadow and those are gonna be cooler. Those color opposites will make each color seem to pop more. So when you contrast those cooler blue tones with the warmer palette of autumn, that's gonna allow you to create visually exciting images. Tip number four is to look for opportunities to reflect that beautiful fall color in water. Reflections can allow you to make very colorful and abstract fall images that'll get noticed. Typically what I'm doing when I'm photographing fall color and water is I wanna make sure that the fall color is in the sunlight so it's really bright and colorful but I want the water itself and anything that might be sticking out of the water that you include in the composition to be in shadow. That's gonna enhance the contrast and is really gonna make that fall color pop. And anything that's in the shadows is gonna be rendered a cooler blue tone. So if you've got any rocks or boulders sticking out of the water or maybe some marsh grasses, those will be rendered blue and you're gonna have that brilliant warm color of the foliage in the reflections of the water, that's gonna help you create that complementary color contrast that I was talking about earlier. So this technique works best on a completely sunny day. And as I said earlier, you wanna make sure that that fall color is in the sun and is brightly lit, and you wanna make sure that the water and anything in the water is in the shadows. As long as you do that, you can create really colorful, really compelling fall color reflection photos. And that brings us to fall photo color tip number five. And this last one might be a little bit controversial because as nature photographers, we typically don't like to interfere with the scene or subject that we're photographing. But autumn is an opportunity for you as the photographer to inject your own personal creativity and to manipulate the scene to make stunning photographs. So I'm gonna offer this final tip, take it with a grain of salt. If you don't wanna use it, that's fine. But the final tip is to go out there, pick up colorful leaves and place them within your scene. As nature photographers, we just don't really have that much control over the scenes or subjects that we're photographing. Like wildlife subjects are gonna do whatever they want. You can't sit there and use mind control and make the clouds come in perfectly the way you want them to for a landscape scene. So I often feel like I don't have any control over what I'm photographing. So don't be afraid to take control. As you're walking along and you see some colorful leaves that have already fallen, go ahead, pick them up, bring them with you. Uh, start a bag full of colorful leaves. And when you get to the scene that you wanna photograph, you can scatter your leaves in the scene if you're doing a landscape photograph, or you can arrange a small group of leaves around something interesting that you found, create like an intimate still life, and it's perfectly okay. So some people are really against leaf placement. I think the trick is to try to make it look haphazard and natural, so you wanna have a few leaves that are showing the less colorful side. If all the leaves in your scene are showing only the most colorful side of the leaf, that's probably gonna be a dead giveaway to most viewers. Of course, savvy viewers will likely suspect that you have placed the leaves in the scene, but so what, who cares? Leaf placement can be fun, it allows you to get creative, and it can help you make better photos. So just a few strategically placed leaves can take your fall colors to the next level. Well, that's it for now. I hope you found these tips helpful and I hope you have a great time out there photographing fall foliage. And I'll see you next time over at PhotoMasters.